All right, guys, KB32 here. Check it out. We're sitting out here in the Freedom office, and uh, today is just full of all kinds of dirt. And what we're finding out, uh, if you give these guys a chance, they are going to pile on with everything they possibly can. Now, here's the thing. Nine millimeter. We all shoot nine millimeter. I, I don't know anybody who out there who uh, is shooting anything that doesn't shoot a nine millimeter. As a matter of fact, I have a nine millimeter strapped to my waist because one, it's efficient, it's lightweight, and it will do the job. Of course, the president of the United States says it will blow your lungs up. So when I have my liberal, liberal friends ask me, as a matter of fact, here's a little round nose sitting right here. What does a what does a nine millimeter do? They've called me and asked me, and I just tell them straight up, man. If, if they're stupid enough to believe this, it it will explode on impact. These things are like a HEI round. It's just unbelievable. When it hits, it, it'll explode your chest all the way out through your back and it will destroy you. And they're like, oh my God, what about uh, that round that comes out of an M16 or an AR-15, the assault rifle? And I go, oh my God, your head will explode just by looking at it. That's how stupid these people are. And it's dumb people like this that are writing policy about our Second Amendment and what we are, <laughs> I don't know, in their opinion, should be allowed to have. Now, according to Beto O'Rourke, I guess his decision has changed that uh, he really wasn't going after it. But, you know, he's actually talking about going after people and their possessions and their firearms. So uh, let's just say, uh, what was that word that somebody says? Uh, Steve, stupid shit. Try a motherfucker. I don't know. Well, you know what I'm saying. Just do it. <laughs> Anyway, just got off the phone with my good friend up there, one of the guys at Optics Planet, and I'm doing a promotion with them as a giveaway. They sent out the uh, Lee Precision Single Stage uh, Press, and uh, he informed me that last night, overnight, in the middle of the night, in the darkness, they went ahead and they outlawed the uh, possession of the 80% uh, lowers. If you have an 80% lower, you have a certain amount of time to take that to a gun shop, have it serialized, okay, and then you can have it back. And that includes 80% lowers of any kind of receiver. It's AR-15, uh, 9mm, whatever. <sighs> and that was in the middle of the night. And if you think that <laughs> they could do it so easily, then guess what? The rest of the country, they, they'll do it too. And pulling on the heartstrings of people out there in Texas, and I don't even want to say it, but uh, they have people on their sides. There are Republicans who are actually open to the idea of increased age limits on a semi, any semi-automatic rifle. That's not going to change a damn thing. I hate it for you. Uh, I, I know that what they're doing is that anything and everything that they can do is just an effort to go ahead and say that they've done something. Or put people on record as saying that they're not going to do anything. And if you don't do anything now, you're, you're a child killer, that kind of thing. It's absolutely disgusting what they're trying to do. So, yeah. Uh, so now I've heard 9mm. Uh, and a one big thing, and this is one of the reasons why I went ahead and actually ordered uh, the parts and pieces to build my new uh, three-gun competition rifle, uh, is uh, a new handguard and a bolt because I'm going to incorporate that with some other parts that I have laying around. And guys, there are no th there's no such thing as an extra part anymore. They're trying to outlaw parts and pieces and accessories that you can purchase online, ammunition that you can buy online, or anything or firearm that you can purchase online, which is and essentially, and these idiots don't understand, it still has to go to an FFL, you still have to go through the 4473 in the Knicks background check before you can have it. And this dumbass kid, and I would like to say, let's follow the money and see where the hell that came from, ladies and gentlemen. That's going to shed a light on a lot of the answers. I mean, the guy put a bullet or blew his mom's or grandmother's head off. But these are the things that I'm talking about. You have people who don't have a freaking clue. This is the same thing as a guy that was the uh, nominated, <coughs> pardon me, as the ATF director. He was an attorney general. He still is not a firearms expert. And that is the person who should be in charge of the ATF. Uh, as well, we should just probably go ahead and just, uh, what do you call it, get rid of the ATF, uh, absolved or whatever. So anyway, my biggest thing is it's going to be interesting to see what happens in the near future with the online sales of equipment. You're talking about an industry that is absolutely huge. I know the guys down at Palmetto State Armory. I know the guys down there at Big Daddy Unlimited. Uh, you've got a bunch of the other guys. Oh, my gosh. I can't even remember the names of them all. But it, 
it's just going to be interesting to see where, what, when, and how things happen. And you want to talk about a combined effort from the industry. A lawsuit will be filed. There will be so much money poured into this thing. They think that if you go on, oh, Brownells, that was the name I was trying to think of. So they think that you can go online and order a firearm, have it delivered to your house. Actually, in Canada. And talking to the people who were talking to me about yesterday, the video I put out, it was interesting because I was talking about Justin Trudeau unilaterally because they don't have a Second Amendment out there. puts a cap. You can no longer do transfer, sales, importation of pistols. And I think that's one of the reasons why Joe Biden went ahead and jumped on the 9mm bandwagon because he understands that 9mm is one of the most popular fire uh, ammunition <laughs> And the firearms in this country, mostly which are pistols. Oh, they'll blow your heart out. They'll blow things up. Uh, long story short, this is going to be a fight. And if these jackasses continue to do what they're going to do, they're going to create a more divided United States. And they're going to take a lot of Democrats with them. Keep going, Joe. That's all I have to say. It's KB32. Let me know what your thoughts are down below. I think I hit on all the topics today. Online sales industry is going to go off like a, a nuclear weapon. Uh, the guy doesn't know this, what the Second Amendment, the true meaning behind the, the, the Second Amendment. And if the government, you want to give your firearms first, go ahead. I ain't giving mine up. <laughs> all right. Enough. We always end them like this. Uh, God bless America. God bless us men, women in uniform 24 7 for our freedoms. Freedom's not free. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already heard done so. Blah, blah, blah. Wow. Illinois got handed a good one last night. Let's see how to react. I'm, a, uh, I'm KB32 and I'm out of here. Boom, and I am fired up.